All right, parents and kids, you're playing Gorilla Tag, and you want to know how to mod Gorilla Tag. I'm going to walk you through a safe way to do it and the easiest way to do it, which is going to be through Monkey Mod Manager. So I'm going to walk you through it today. We're going to get it set up on an Oculus Quest. This is the Oculus Quest 2. We do have some threes floating around in the house. The method is going to be the same. Um, if you are using your Oculus Quest, um, I definitely recommend downloading Gorilla Tag through something like Steam so that you have folder access to um, Gorilla Tag. And then you will either use a link cable or the air link in order to play Gorilla Tag rather than the version that actually runs on the Oculus downloaded through the Oculus Store. So I'm going to walk you through the Steam way today. We're going to get it set up. We're going to use Monkey Mod Manager. This is the easiest way to get your kids mods, guys. So Monkey Mod Manager is definitely the way to go. If you're going to use some of the Discord channels and things like that, just know that you need to be very careful. You are downloading DLL files to your computer. You're going to want to scan those before before you start putting those into your Windows operating system. So make sure that you follow this. I'm gonna show you how to scan files before you download them to make sure that they're safe so that you're not infecting your family's network. So let's get going. All right, so what I did first is I came over here to Steam. I came over here to the store. I searched Gorilla Tag. All right, I'm sorry parents, it is 20 bucks on the Steam store. Um, so you're going to go ahead, purchase it, get it installed, and it'll be running it inside your Steam library once it's downloaded. All right. So now that you have Gorilla Tag, what we're going to do next is we're going to actually download Monkey Mod Manager. Um, I'm going to put all these links in the description below, so just make sure you expand that down. It's going to have every link to Steam, to Monkey Mod Manager, how to scan the files. It's going to have all that, so make sure you check it out. All right. So here we are. So we're on GitHub right now. It is Deadly Kitten. I know it sounds scary. I get it. I have been setting this up for my son for quite some time now. Um, just know, parents, when Monkey Mod Manager, or rather when Gorilla Tag doesn't update, you're going to need to come back in here every time and download a new version of Monkey Mod Manager uh, because as Gorilla Tag patches for mods, you're going to need a new version every time. I know that's not what you want to hear, but unfortunately that is going to be the case. So they do update this pretty regularly so that it stays supported, um, but it is going to be a lot better than downloading those DLL files, like I said, um, that uh, most likely are going to probably be infected if you're not getting them from some reliable sources. I will show you in another um, video later on how to get some reliable sources for those DLL files for those monkey um, mod mod uh, menus um, and they are going to be a lot more detailed uh, but monkey mod manager is going to give you some great mods for your kids um, that hopefully kind of leave them satisfied and you don't have to go the DLL route um, so here we are we're on github right now so I'm gonna kind of walk you through this um, so when you first come in to github so you can go to Google search it up monkey mod manager um, it's going to be that first link there. So we got Deadly Kitten Monkey Mod Manager. So we're going to go ahead and click that. Um, what you're going to need to click next here is releases. Um, so releases is going to have the different versions of Monkey Mod Manager. You're going to want to go with the latest one. Um, so you'll see right here. So we have an exe file. I know you're scared. Hopefully you've got antivirus installed. I use Bitfinder. Um, so you can make sure that you have antivirus running on your computer. But let's scan this guy before we even download it. Um, so we're right here on our Monkey Mod Manager latest version 1.3.1. And we're going to right click on this exe file here. We're going to do copy link address. And then we're going to use a product. It's called Virus Total. It's really great. You can sign up for a free account. Um, but what it's going to do is it's going to scan that file before you even download it to your computer. So if we come over here to Virus Total, um, you'll see that I have already created an account and I am signed in. If you navigate here to URL, um, so we're going to paste that URL that we just copied and we're going to scan it before we even download it. Let's make sure it's safe. You can do the same thing for DLL files if you're going that route to download a custom mod menu. 
Um, so we would go ahead, we've scanned it. You can see here we have one low, which is really not too bad, guys. It's going to light up like a Christmas tree on uh, Christmas Eve if these files are infected. Um, there are a couple key ones that I like to look for, and that is Bitfinder here. I like to make sure that Bitfinder considers it clean, and it does. Um, and there's also another one down here, um, Google Safe Browsing. They do a pretty good job of scanning these files ahead of time um, to make sure that they are clean. I wouldn't be too overly concerned here with this low. Um, like I said, you're going to get a high or a medium if the file is actually infected. Um, so we know that this file is OK. So we're going to go ahead and download Monkey Mod, Mod Manager. Um, so I'm going to select right here under Assets, Monkey Mod Manager.exe. Uh, you'll see here it downloaded. All right, so if you're using a product like Bitfinder, know that it may block the file, okay? It's going to do a scan on the file. It sees that you've downloaded an EXE. If it does block the file, you can go ahead and remove it from your quarantine. I haven't had Monkey Mod Manager um, block in quite some time um, with Bitfinder, um, but those DLL files, they are most likely going to be blocked. So make sure you scan them ahead of time. Um, if they do get blocked and you've you already scanned them, then they're clean. You can go ahead and remove them from your quarantine. Um, so right here we have our Monkey Mod Manager. It's up and it's running. And what I love the most about it is it has all of these predefined Monkey Mods. Okay, so you can go ahead and select whatever ones your, your kids want. Um, like mine, usually like Gorilla Cosmetics. Um, they like the Dash Monkey. They like Power Arms. Um, so go ahead and select whatever ones that you want. Okay, so you are, if you want the computer interface um, so that your kids can go in there and they can select a modded lobby, um, just know that I would definitely recommend it. Um, so if you are coming into Gorilla Tag and you don't go to a modded server, you are most likely going to get blocked. Okay, they're going to come at you with that ban stick and they're going to ban you and your kids are going to be out for a couple hours. Then it's going to increase to a couple days and it's going to get longer and longer every time your kids get banned. So just know when you're downloading mods, you are going to risk a ban. So the more that you go into those modded servers, the less likely you're going to risk a ban because most everybody in those servers is already modding. My son's been banned more times than I would ever care to share, so just make sure that you're going into those modded lobbies. All right, so once you select everything that you want here in your little menu, um, what you're going to do is you're going to hit install slash update. It's going to run through, it's going to download them all, and it's going to install them into a beepnex folder that's located in your Gorilla Tag folder. Um, and I will show you that here in just a minute. All right, so it's installed complete. Um, so if we want to go ahead and we want to view our um, Gorilla Tag folder, um, if you click over here on the utilities, um, you can go into the beepnex folder. All right, so we have our BeepNEX folder here. Um, this is going to be on your Windows file system, of course. We've downloaded the game. It's actually a running game on our PC. And then we will run it with that um, AirLink or the link cable, whichever one you decide on. Um, I think that the link cable is a little bit more stable um, if you want to plug it directly into your computer. But you know what? The Air, AirLink has gotten pretty good. So I, whatever way you prefer. So if we want to check out the um, plugins that it actually just installed, what we got to do here is select the um, plugins folder. Um, and then you'll see that everything that we just installed is actually running right here. That's how easy it is. That's why I like Monkey Mod Manager, because all of the other ones, you have to do everything manually. So if you can get away with using Monkey Mod Manager and your kids are happy with it, stay with it. Once you start reaching into those DLL files, it gets really sketchy virus-wise, and it's a little bit difficult to set up. You have to make sure that you have the right version of the files, or they won't run, depending on what version of um, Gorilla Tag has just updated. Um, so this is definitely the way to go. Um, so this is ready. Um, so all you got to do now is you got to uh, power on your Oculus, use your link cable or the air link, fire it up, and those mods are going to be ready to go. And that's how you install Monkey Mod Manager. Thanks for joining us here at Smith Outpost. I hope your kids have a good time with their, their mods inside of Gorilla Tag. 
Again, make sure they're going to those modded lobbies or they could risk a ban. And you don't want to get banned because now they're going to be on you saying, I want to play Gorilla Tag. You're going to have to create a new account and you're going to have to start all over again. So make sure that you go into those modded lobbies. Join us back here again and we'll go through some more detailed mod menus for those DLL files that are a little bit more risky. I'm going to show you how to do it in a safe manner so that your kids and your file system stay safe. Thank you.